We started in 1999, the, the Falkenberg Hospital and the Friends of Falkenberg, which is an association inside Falkenberg helping towards the patients. They approached Tanzu, my partner and I, um, and said, well, you're artist, do you want to do, can you help us? So I wanted to help. I, I have this wish, I have this thing that I know things can be done that are bigger than me. You see, it's wonderful to do art, but do I always want to speak about me? You know, no. I, I like this thing of trying to go further than oneself. And that, that's the power. That's, that's what gives the power. There was a kiln that was already in the Falkenberg Hospital in the art room. So I said, well, I'm going to use uh, clay. Clay has very specific property. It's very soothing. It's not terrifying. It's really easy to handle for a lot of people. Some will have done that as a child already, so it's easy to access. And then you can take it out. Clay uses the four elements. It is earth, it uses, uh, the, so it has water in it, then it's gonna go through a process of drying and being fired. So it has different steps like you do for healing. It has different steps of letting go, yeah, and then getting into something that is very di different from the, from, from the beginning. Hmm. Yeah. You know, sometimes some morning, some women, there was one this morning, she arrives, oh, I'm tired, or they're shaking, or, you know, they're not well and everything. Let me help you. Yeah, let me help you, let's do something. And what it does, you know, to the person is that suddenly she could make it. Although, you know, and I say, oh, what a, what a courageous person you are. You know, you, you, you actually manage to go over your pain or your shaking or your sadness just to do something. Look, and it's all inside there. Now it's in the piece, you know, it's not inside you. And you, you see it, I've seen it hundreds times, you know, a bit of aggressivity or sadness or depression, they arrive, they're not, no, they come out and there's a smile or they hug me or there's, you know, or they stop shaking, they even stop shaking. So there's, you can see these things, there's immediate benefit. They want, the patients want to come. They will drag a few, few others that are oh, not so sure or this or that, but if they come once, they come again. They come again and they come again. And if I see one until she's gonna go out, she will come every Monday. I was in Falkenberg Hospital for um, two months. And while I was in the hospital, one of the projects that, um, that's happening is the, the ceramics. And I've done art before and I, I wanted to do ceramics and work with clay again um, a lot. So um, I asked Sylvie if I could actually when I was discharged from the hospital, come and just, just come and make things there. I think it's an amazing success. She was discharged and she asked me, well, can I come? And I always need help because more and more patients are coming and I'm, I'm very happy to get help. So now Louise, it's fantastic because she was exactly in that ward with these women. So she knows the conditions, she's kind, she has respect, she wants to do it and, and I'm, very, I'm very happy with this relation. Because you're working with your hands, it also distracts you from thinking about things that worry about you, you know, you're worrying about or, you know, are you going to be discharged next month or tomorrow? Um, when are you going to see your doctor? So it helps to just um, bring into focus and, and because you're working with clay, it's just a nice medium because it's, um, it's slightly soft and it's, you know, and it's malleable and you can make it into something. So what you're feeling, go into that, the energy, the, you know, like, if, it's, if you're feeling angry, then you can work it into the clay and, and then you actually end up being a bit calmer after that. You know, it brings a little bit of more peace and, and focus. I'm, um, I'm very passionate about mosaics. So I thought of combining, making pieces, small pieces all together, and then combine them into a shape. Everyone makes a small piece or so many small pieces and then it becomes part of a whole that is admired you know you become part of something that is bigger than you and that is something mm -hmm. 
when they come, the patients, did you notice the, the wall? They call the wall of hands, they call it the wall of fame. Okay, because it's their fame and they're proud of it. It's not a shameful thing to land up in a psychiatric hospital. It can happen to everyone. Yeah, the tree is constantly growing, which is a symbol, obviously, of it's alive. Yeah, it's alive, it's there, it's there for us. Yeah, you're not forgotten. Something is happening around you that you can sit and look and be proud of because you're actually making it. That's you. Is this your hand? That's very nice. I believe we are equal as human beings. And I, I come across, obviously, differences and discrepancies. And I find it very sad that people believe that they are less. I can't take that. You see, I don't, I don't believe it. You're not less, you might be less educated or had less chances. Well, let's, let's get the chances and see how, you know, because it's, it's, um, it's such a pain, you know, this thing of half of the population of the world thinks they're not good enough. Well, that's impossible because if you're born, there's a reason. You're here for something, you're here for good. <laughs>